And that is where we begin with our talk of the tape. Does this bounce have room to run? Let's ask Joe Turnover, Virtus Investment Partners Chief Market Strategist right here on set with me. Uh, good PPI, yields down, dollar down, stocks up until we got that headline out of Europe. Little geopolitical angst bumping up against what is really right now a peak inflation trade. And the pricing in, Scott, of 50 basis points on December 14th. I think that's what the market has done here uh, since last Thursday's inflation report. So the mood is different for the market, right? The mood is no longer trying to focus on a breakdown in the mega caps, the cryptocurrency contagion, a headline like today, what Treasury yields are doing, and building up short positions. It's actually the reverse. The mood right now is thinking, let's unwind some of the short positioning, whether it's in the Chinese equities, some of the non-profitable consumer discretionary and technology names. Let's focus on the fact that a 10-year Treasury is at 379, its lowest level since October. And oh, Let's point up towards that 200-day moving average. It seems to be gravity at 4076 because I think the mood of the market believes we can get there. Still can't get a close above 4,000. I mean, that's pretty decent resistance for the time being. You need, to, you need to get some momentum over that if you can reach some of these more lofty levels that some say we can between now and the end of the year. You, you need real buy-in. You need a broad-based rally, not so much this handoff where – one day it's materials and energy, financials and industrials leading the market higher while the mega caps sit on the bench. Are we Technology going to get that? Sits, on, sits on the bench. Are we going to get that we broad based well, buy in? That's why we're sitting right now at, at 39.91 because we really haven't had that broad based buy in where technology, consumer discretionary, consumer services, they're up the equivalent of a lot of those value-oriented sectors. But some say you don't need those stocks, the mega caps, Who says to that? participate. I mean, you've made the counter argument, but I hear plenty say, no, you don't need it. There's money going into other areas of the market. This trade is not going to be favored for a while. It's all about value. Buy the cyclicals. Don't buy these stocks. You've heard it, too, uh, I, I, because I, the chorus is growing louder. The, the reason that I'm doing this 30-plus years is I know my limitations. I rely on statistics. Statistically, the market needs the participation of Apple, of Microsoft, of Alphabet, of Tesla, of the mega caps. There has to be good behavior on the part of those companies for there to be a broad-based rally. Why? Well, why, why does it have to be broad enough that those stocks participate if, as long as the others pick up the slack? Because unfortunately, the market right now is fickle. The market right now is on or off. The market is one or the other. The market is binary. And if we're making a binary decision on such statistically important equity names, then you're never going to be able to build the type of momentum that is going to take this market aggressively, I use that word aggressively, aggressively to the upside. Well, I mean, I'm thinking of 4,100 even on the S&P. You don't necessarily need Apple and Microsoft and Alphabet and Amazon to take you to 4,100. But what happens thereafter? That's what the problem is. Because if you tell me that the market goes to 4,100 and we fail, that does not look good technically on the charts. Well, where, where do you think you we're going? We're break not... out, you failed to break out above the 200-day moving average. The market needs to get above 4,100 and follow through. And I'm not asking the market to follow through over the following weeks or, or, or certainly month, but the market needs to, over the coming quarter or the coming quarter and a half, the market needs to be 4,300, 4,350 thereafter. Need to have a sustained breakout through a significant price point being the 200-day moving average. All right. So Krinsky today, BTIG, Jonathan Krinsky was with us yesterday. People are chasing this strength. We'd fade that enthusiasm. That's what he said. You agree with that? Why is he wrong? I wouldn't chase the strength in high beta, non-profitable companies, which is what's happening right now. Yeah, Kevin Gordon wanna, yesterday said the same thing from Schwab. I, I'm like, not, fade I'm, it. I'm not buying Chinese equities right now. I'm not buying Roblox. I know Roblox is down in the mid-30s. I'm not buying Peloton. I'm not buying non-profitable companies. I'm not just going to step out and assume that risk in this environment because I don't know what's coming economically. I understand that we're going to price in 50 basis points from the Federal Reserve. And then what? What happens thereafter? So I still want to focus on owning the quality companies within the market. And you could find them. The, the popular trade right now is find me the double bottom. Do you know what I mean by that? 
The double bottom is a June low and an October low. Home Depot, which was added recently to Joe T. Great earnings report today, okay? Mm -hmm. Resiliency, strong sales, strong margin, but the best, the, the, the best identifying metric that gives me confidence about the stock, 264 low in June. We attempt to break it in September, 265 low. Now you've got that double bottom formation. Find me stocks like that, I'll own them.